we briefly introduced how to use VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP functions in the previous videos. In this video, we are going to introduce how to use XLOOKUP function. XLOOKUP is a new function added to Excel in 2019 and can be used to replace VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Let's take a look at the format of XLOOKUP. There are six inputs. The first, what we want to look up. The second, where we want to look for it. The third, where we want to return the value. The latter three inputs are optional, so we will not cover them in this short video. Now let's take a look at this example. This table shows the daily tasks for each person on each day. And now we would like to know who will work as the host, say, on Saturday. This was the example for the HLOOKUP video, and now we're going to use XLOOKUP. So equal XLOOKUP. The first one, lookup value. Now let's select host, comma, lookup value means where we want to look for it. And we know the host is in this row. So we're going to select this row, comma, where we want to return the value. So we are looking for Saturday. And in this table, we know the Saturday is in this row. So you will see if we select the row first, and then we're going to select another row. And that's it. Hit Enter. It shows Alex will work as the host on Saturday. Okay? Now let's try to select the column. Equal X lookup. The first one lookup value. Now we are going to select Saturday. Comma. Where we want to look for it. We know Saturday is in this column. So we are going to select this column. Comma. Return array. We are looking for the host. So we are going to select the host column. And that's it. Hit enter. It still shows Alex. So our formulas are correct. And this is how to use XLOOKUP function in Excel.